it's a good it's a good question. Peter Kenyon's no mug. He's you know like you say he's worked at Man United. He's worked at Chelsea. Look, I think for myself personally, I think it's a it's a nice. It was almost like a nice distraction because oh get him, my gosh, he's gonna sell the club. Um, he's gonna he's finally gonna leave. The, he's, he's finally gonna leave and get a, a potential a good owner. Um, but people forget Peter Kenyon's not the one really buying the club. He's looking for investors. If the stories are true, I shouldn't add that. You know, he's looking for American companies or Chinese companies, from what I read in the article, that he wants uh, to help him buy the football club, and he'll then he'll be in control of the football club. So it's all ifs, buts, and maybes at the minute. It's a nice fantasy at the minute. Well, for his safety, he should probably stay away, because um, I think he knows the fans hate him. Yeah, I've seen the story about uh, some about uh, the Peter Kenya, I think he's called been interested in us I know he's been like Man United and Chelsea before of course I, I think it's the, the owner should be obligated to go and support his team I, but I think the way in which he has hurt us so much he's not welcoming our company I'm uncomfortable sharing oxygen with that man if you can call him a man Keegan has exposed Ashley for what he is most of the time why is he not been here before that, I mean, like, he's probably crapping himself that much and he just shows up the day. He's either here to probably understand the fans' feelings or he's just here to just laugh it up even more. With this chump still in charge of us, he'll not pump any more money into the club. To be honest, I cannot wait for Kevin Keegan's speech on Tuesday night. If my issue was watching today, I'll be, I'll be running out of that football club. I really would. I'll be taking 300 million and going right. Someone else can have it because when this this team's not good enough, it's got a good chance of getting relegated. And I'm probably not going to get the same amount of money in six months' time. If it, from, a, from that business point of view, I would take it and run. We need to turn up and we need to get him out of the club. We need to try and get a message to him as close as we can. We have done. We have done. But we just need to keep trying. Well. I don't know why he turned up to be honest, because like it's two games in a row now in it that he's been to Palace and now here and it's just I don't know, it just feels like a bit of a slap in the face, like, you know, because he knows that we hate him. I don't think he'd be able to sell it for get relegated again. Don't think anybody don't think anyone will want it. Well, funny enough I, I only heard about this uh, on the way to the game on the bus, so I, I don't really know much about it but Anybody's better than Ashley at this point, like that's how I feel now, I'm just so sick. Now, this happens every year, it was the same with Amanda Stavely last year, like, and everyone was getting excited about that, and like, when that fell through, like, I just, there's no point believing it anymore until someone's actually here, you know what I mean? It's just, to get people excited, it's false hope. It's all about control, isn't it? It's a dictatorship here, I mean, it's petty, isn't it? I mean, I mean the talks coming up on Tuesday, which me and Peter are both going to, and uh, I think that's I think that's what it is. To be honest, I think they've heard about this talk, and now people are bringing signs, and they're getting annoyed about it. You know, the higher up. Well, true or false, you're, you're going to have to have some sort of story brewing up in the first place. So, I mean, if it, if it was true, you're going to have to start it off with the headline of oh, Peter Kenyon is plotting a Newcastle takeover. If it's false, then of course it's, it's going to be false. And I'm not getting my hopes so up. This is, this is not me getting my hopes up, but it's just hopefully that this is going to be a step towards progress in getting that man out of the club. We will see over time if that story is true. I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm just going to wait and see what's going to happen over the coming weeks with that story. I think it is true, but uh, you know, we're still protests. Even if it was calm things down, then, then it's not working. I mean, to me, I think it might be true. You know, Keith Downey's reporting it. Uh, it's not like it's come from any of the tabloids. And I think Keith Downey's probably the most reliable like source we've got. Well, Ashley's at the ground, and it's the first time they've pulled banners away. So it'll be like Ashley who's uh, took them away trying to trying to cover up the protests and everything like that. He's not going to stop with doing that, we're going to keep protesting so he can fit in, do one for me. Like Him being at games is, is, is swaying away from the actual football and it's pointing away hatred towards him and it's getting fans pissed off and frustrated. He shouldn't be at, the, at games, it's just, it's just a distraction. Like The whole crowd today stood up Mike Ashley out, 
they should be support they should be supporting the team, not directing hate hatred towards him. But he's there and he is gonna be targeted and rightly so. Do you know what I mean? I hope so. I really hope it's true because he needs to go. Because at the end of the day, us fans are suffering for it. Do you know what I mean? Like um we can't keep going like this. It's just it's getting worse by the week. Everybody wants him to go. I, you ask everyone that was in the ground today, if anybody says they're actually in, I think they would be lying today. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. We're in a relegation battle. It's not it's not it's nothing silly about that. Um but this is I, let's just hope it's true, but I'm suspicious because he, he, who knows with Mike Ashley. We've been close before with maybe the Amanda Stavely. But again, it's, it's the same situation. She needed investment. Peter Kenyon needs investment to do that. I think, I, I don't know, is it Rockefeller maybe? A Rockefeller yeah. investment? So if, it's not, if that's true, then let's just hope, let's hope for the best. But we've got a couple of tough games now. United, I know they're not playing well, but it's at Man United. So we're going to struggle to get anything there. The Brighton game in three weeks' time is absolutely huge because we need a win on the board and we need it, and we, and we need it really, really quick.